se vai scuso we're going to wait for our premier who should come here and they come in the speaker of the parliament is the John Corino that's your and after we can start with the speeches we start about when the premier comes in Till this time now we can enjoy ourselves and take a bit of drinks Whatever. Whatever we got there. Some food. Some food, I think, maybe some of the stuff we got in here. Now we're moving. I've never seen a group of Montenegro and Sarah Buckley to go into alcohol. She's got shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> The most recent Level up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if we could um, have your attention. Uh, for those one or two of you that don't know me, uh, my name's Paul Lynch. I'm the State Labor Member of Parliament for the Electorate of Liverpool. On behalf of the Parliament, I'd like to invite you all to this ceremony this afternoon. Um, can I acknowledge amongst a host of other distinguished guests uh, the Ambassador for Serbia and Montenegro, Mr Glisic, the Consul General, Mr Abranovic, um, the Speaker of the Parliament, of course, John Aquilina, um, the President of the Montenegrin Cultural and Art Society, Njegov Sydney, Slobodan Lazovic, and in particular, I would like to be able to acknowledge the Premier, Mr Bob Carr. Um, um, it, it was some time ago that he agreed to come today, and um, I was delighted when he did. And then he staged an exercise yesterday that was clearly designed wholly and solely with the purpose of ruining his function. Um, uh, can I, on behalf of your, on behalf of the, those gathered and on my own behalf, thank the Premier for finding the time in what is obviously a very difficult day to be here. Um, we're going to have a slight change to the program that was originally intended. Um, there are some presentations to be made to the Premier and then, then we'll invite the Premier to speak. Could I invite uh, the Consul General, Mr Obradovic and uh, Mr Slobodan Lazovic to make the presentations? <coughs> Can I, can I go first with a small piece, small evaluation, Mr. Premier? To our Premier, Honor Bob Carr, on the occasion of over 110 years of the settlement of the first citizen from Montenegro, please 
pleasure, pleasure present to you this exceptional illustration of Australia Montenegro background. Your sincerely Montenegro country has said in the city of the Thank you. And I'm now going to Mr. Bradovich to present uh, the coins, which is, I understand it, a replica of the coins that existed at the time that the first Montenegrin citizens came to Australia. Oh, what did that do? Honorable Clark, please accept this small gift, a sign of appreciation for respecting the Montenegrin community in Australia and as a symbol of our genuine <coughs> desire for strengthening of friendship between our two nations and over all ideas. And could I now invite the Premier to address the audience? Put you back a bit, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just showing show you that beautiful book and that photo. Yes. That's, what, a, what a wonderful book this is. Uh, look at these mountains and these monasteries. Yeah. Okay. This, is, this is your former land and it, see, it tells, it's a beautiful book. Uh, human settlement going back thousands of years in the shade of mountains like that. Uh, this, is, this is going to be highly valued by me. This won't, this won't stay behind in the new Premier's office, I'm telling you. It's going to be in a car home. And uh, Your Excellency, Consul General Paul Lynch, Mr. Speaker, it's good to have you here. Um, Slobodan, um, it's very sad for me to be here today in one sense, that I am about to give up the job that brings me into contact with you. And uh, I've spoken of the honour of being Premier of New South Wales. Part of that honour is being your Premier, of being the Premier of such a diverse community as this. <coughs> and. During the Olympics, when all, all Australians were out on our streets, bursting with pride at the games we were putting on, I really intensely felt that honour. Not for the first time, not for the last, but, but most intensely. So, I'm, I'm uh, thrilled to be here today, to be part of the presentation of these coins, um, coinciding with the 120th anniversary of the arrival of the first Montenegrin settler to Australia in 1885. And uh, they're a symbol of the friendship between this community and this parliament. I'm, I'm, I thank uh, my colleague uh, Paul Lynch for bringing this about. It's the, fir it, it's the third time the Society has honoured the New South Wales Parliament in this way. The presentation of the books and the presentation of musical instruments and a copy of the Mountain Wreath. Um, that classic work, regarded as Montenegro's and sometimes as, as Serbia's Shakespeare, I'm advised the work was first published in 1847, written in the vernacular, and about 100 editions of the book have been published since then. And this copy, this, this edition, was a copy of the first English translation made in 1930, but the work's been translated into all the major languages. Paul tells me it's a folk epic, set as a play, relating to events said to have occurred in the 17th and 18th centuries, including liberation struggles and efforts to the fire pressure. So these are great themes of a great people, and we're honoured to have you in this country. Your love of Montenegro and your pride in its culture sits with your loyalty to the land of your choice with Australia. And Your Excellency, uh, that is something we value in these citizens, now ours, our fellow Australians. I. Um, I'm very sad that this is one of my last official functions as Premier of New South Wales. But on another level, it's a, it's a very fond thing to be at. A relatively small community, but one that's very highly regarded, that's got a very fine culture, and is loyal to Australia. Great people, loyal to their new land. And uh, it's a great honour to be here today, not only on one of my last days as Premier, but also as one of my last days as Minister for Citizenship. So once again, I thank the Montenegrin community. I know you'll understand that there are a lot of demands on them today to fix up the government, so I'm handed on to whoever these guys elect as the, as the next Premier. I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to fix it up and see. And, uh, I 
I've got, I've got to empty my office. But one thing's for certain. This is not staying behind in the office. It's going to French Street Maroon. Thank you very much. Thank you. citizen from Montenegro, as the chronicler said, from Nikšić came to the geographically distant Australia in 1885 time, a country little known to our people. On behalf of Consulate General of Serbia and Montenegro, I am honored to welcome you and thank the organizers, the Montenegrin Culture and Arts Society Njegos, which proudly bears the name of famous poet, bishop, and ruler Petar Petrovich Sehet Njegos. I believe that we all share the feelings of joy for being together today, members of Montenegrin community, descendants from the first and later immigrants, members and uh, friends of Club Njegos, and especially all the dear guests and friendly hosts who supported this event. I came here with dual sentiments. Firstly, of personal delight and pride that the citizens of Montenegrin descent have established a worthy place in their new homeland, and that they are acknowledged and appreciated by different nations groups. This, this countries <coughs> highly respected public and cultural figures give the evidence of respect for Montenegrin community and the recognition of the work of society Njegos. On the other hand, this event brings sadness because of the inevitable fact that numerous citizens from Montenegro have bound their destiny and their children's future to this region, reducing Montenegro's power to use their creative potentials. It is, however, a comforting thought that migrants are a general characteristic of modern world, which is becoming more interdependent in the sense that national wars are not of great importance any longer. The first settlement in uh, Australia were also its first builders, where they played an important role in the economical development. They brought their rich cultural heritage, mainly Orthodox Christianity, customs and specific code of noble, honor, manhood and heroism. These settlers paved the way for their numerous descendants played in their roads, roads and uh, from these roots grew and are still growing roses of generation to respect their origins and make both us and Australia proud for devoting 
their talent, knowledge, creativity, and love to their new homeland. Montenegrin setters contributed in familiarizing and uh, befriending the two countries. We have stayed friends through history and share the same or similar beliefs and ideas of the modern world, affirming democratic values, human rights and liberties, minority rights, mutual respect and cultural dialogue and tolerance. This friendship has, in fact, lasted more than a century. It privileged through challenging times and and proved an alliance in two world's wars. Serbia and Montenegro gave almost the greatest human sacrifice in Europe in defeating fascism uh, compared to, the, to its population. Today, State Union, Serbia and Montenegro, is making substantial pro progress on its road to, the Europe, to uh, European and Euro-Atlantic integration and is showing an effort to reform the society and achieve standards of the developed world. It has already been established an ambient full of opportunities for activating important economical potentials. Tourism, agriculture, and the shipping industry are of special significance in Montenegro as an ecological state. Many foreigners and investing in the Serbian and Montenegro economy use it it using its comparative as assets for making profit. In a democratic Montenegro, enriched with the culture of different ethnic communities, leaves a great number of people, Serbs, Croats, Muslims, Albanians, and others. They are equal in every respect with Montenegrins, particularly in maintaining their ethnical, religious, culture, and linguistic identity. This this high level of multi-ethnic tolerance makes Montenegro recognizable in Southeast Europe and the Europe in general. Today, Montenegro is also on the histori uh, historical pathway of the restoration of its statehood, of being an international and uh, legal recognition which was achieved on the July 30th, 1878 by the decision of the Berlin Congress. The initiative of Montenegro government to transform the joint state into an alliance of independent states is a rational proposal that will enable both states, members of the proposed alliance, to take responsibility for their economic development and integration into <coughs> Euro-Atlantic institutions. It will also preserve centuries long and traditionally close links between Serbia and Montenegro and its people. In any case, the Constitutional Charter enables the citizens of Montenegro to decide at a referendum about a permanent and state solution for relations between the two states and the governmental and uh, legal status of Montenegro. Combining of the positive assessment from the European Commission feasibility study for Serbia and Montenegro with the announcement of the beginning of negotiation of the agreement of stabilization and association with Europe, plus the firm resolve to continue with fulfilling every necessary precondition for uh, association with European institutions are all part of positive political environment. This environment will help citizens to solve issues important to their mutual relations in stabilizing the region and becoming part of your European <coughs> perspective. Australia is expected to support and uh, encourage the encourage the European inspiration of Serbia and Montenegro and to any Union's decision about its status made in a democratic atmosphere and in the uh, accordance with the developed European, uh, European standards. Please allow me once again to thank you all for your 
presence here, Australia's federal government and gov government of the uh, six states and the two self-government uh, territories, and especially the uh, uh, Australian people for being so hospitable to our immigrants, in, immigrants for over 120 years. Thank you. Mr. Slobodan Lazovic, the president. Yeah, I just say few words. <laughs> you want to say? I'd like to thank Honorable Speaker of the Parliament, Mr. John Corina, Your Excellency Ambassador Milo Eglišić, Polo General Božela Bradić, his wife, Mr. Gentleman, and dear countrymen. I'd like to Thanks, and our oldest Montenegrin citizen, it's uh, Savo Petric, who just come here tonight, uh, today, and uh, our great friend, Marin Navagic, which was actually born in Kotor, is a uh, pioneer in a uh, Australian activity on here. You are our leader for many years. Thank you very much for, for attending. <laughs> I don't want to repeat any, anything what we passed, what we said. I want to just thank you all to be here for this actually very, I think it's special day because not many people counting how many people they come here and uh, when they come here, but we still try to I like to call Secretary of the Montenegro Cultural Society, Njegoš Sine, Mr. Milorad Jokanovic, to present to our dear friend Paul Lynch, the man who actually looking after our culture on that side on air, and present all Montenegrins in Australia. Thank you very much. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I like to call Mr. Boyo Stanisic, our successful businessman, to get another gift to our dear friend oh, Paul. Thank you very much. I very delighted to die too when I saw some young Montenegrins born here, which actually I prepared for uh, for that in a speech, but I. You know, if it's boss, still boss for another few few days or something in there. But there, there was a people who, who really, their the higher education is uh, some of these doctors, some of these uh, directors that really joined the Australian society and MIDA and, and, and together with the Australian peers, the MIDA Multicultural Society in Australia. Thank you very much, young people, for coming to us. Well, now is the whole news. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all right. <laughs> 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 so a few drinks over there as well. We've got so many, I mean, more food and drinks. Okay, just enjoy yourself and have a party. Good on you, Paul. I'll let you know.